welcome back to another video with Royal Top Civil. Today in this video we are going to do an example from load distribution. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to do one of the questions. So I'm gonna read the question and you can listen. So the question is the steel framework is used to support the reinforced stone concrete slab that is used for an office. The slab is 200 mm thick. Sketch the loading that acts along the members BE and FED. Take A equal to 2 meter, B equal to 5 meter. Okay, so right here we know that uh, it's 200 millimeter concrete slab or in other words, 0.2 uh, meter. And we need to sketch the loading along members BE and FED. So a is equal to 2 meter, so we know that right here is 2 meter and 2 meter, and B equals to 5 meter. Okay, we, something we need to know is the L1 over L2 is, uh, L1 over L2 greater than or equal to 2 is one way slab, and L1 over L2 less than or equal to 2 is two way slab. So we know that B over A, or in other words, B over A, so right here B is 5 meter, 5 meter over 2 meter equals to 2.5, so it's greater than 2, meaning that it's one way slab. Okay, so now we know it's one way slab, we have to draw the free body to find the tributary length. So, uh, I want to draw a small free body right here. So we know that this is BE. Since BE is in the middle, uh, the weight is distributed half on each side. So half of this one and half of this one. So meaning that uh, one meter right here and one meter right here so the tributary length for BE uh, three, length for BE equal to two meter however let's say we were analyzing AE for AE since it's not in the middle it's only one meter half of this one but for this is only two meter Okay, now next what we need to do. Next we need to uh, calculate for the 200 millimeter thick reinforced concrete slab. So we need some information from the table. Since this is a steel framework, we know from the table that the first thing is 23.6 kilonewton per meter cube. We need to multiply this by 0.2 meter which is the thickness. That's the load for steel framework from the table. We need to multiply by 0.2 meter the thickness, and then we need to multiply by 2 meter the tributary length, giving us uh, 9.44 kilonewton per meter. Next, we need to calculate the light load for office. Since they said this is used for office, from the table we look and we see that for live load for office is 2.4 kilonewton. So, live load for office. And we know it's 2.4 kilonewton per meter square. We need to multiply this by the tributary length for on live load, we don't need to multiply by thickness, so 2.4 times 2, 2.4 times 2 gives us 4.8, 4.8 meter. Always do the calculation with calculator because sometimes when you do it in your mind, uh, you make minor mistake and you all need to make sure 4.8 okay now we need to calculate the total load so this was the dead load right dead load and this is the live load so we need to calculate the total load which equals to dead load plus live load 
So we need to add them. 9.44 plus 4.8 and this equals to what? 14.34 Okay now what they asked us, they said to sketch the loading act along members B, E, F, E, D, D, E, this member, and F, E, D. Okay, E. So we need to sketch it along these. So all this for this type of uh, uh, problem, uh, draw it like this. So you draw a beam for B, E, and on one side draw a pin, that's always. And on one side draw a roller. So right here was 14.24, right? 14.24 is a distributed load along this, and that's always too. So like that, distributed load. And that's what? 14.24. Now this is what? This is B, and this is E. Now we need to find the reaction. B by and E by. Right? Reaction is very easy. Since this is symmetrical loading, we do B by equals to E by equals to 14.24. The length right here was 5 meter from B. 14.24 times 5 over 2 gives us 35. 5.6 kilo newton okay so we know that b by is 35.6 and e by is 35.6 okay so now we need to draw for f e d for f e this is simple too F E D. So again we draw a pin and draw a roller F and D right here we have it. So we see that right here uh, for F E D we only have one load which is on E and that's the same as one of these E by or E by doesn't matter since it's symmetrical loading. So 35.6 kilo newton. And if you want to be exact, we have to call this E by. You may also find F by and D by by multiplying it by 4 because right here is 2 meter, 2 meter. But it's not necessary, and this is the final solution. So the final solution is this one and this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I respond as soon as possible. You can also watch my other videos on structural analysis. And the link is at the end of the video. And if not, uh, Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.